Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Drew Chronic, and we are back on the Redstone world with uh, our creations. And if you guys don't know, I have put out an update video talking about the channel and some things. And uh, I'll link that in the description below. And I talked about why is that... I don't know how that happened. That, that doesn't look right. Huh. I don't know how that changed. That was weird. But uh, in it, I talked that I got a new computer, so we're playing on, uh, like, max settings and stuff. Uh, it's going to run a lot faster, and it's uh, so, so far way better, but the sound and the video might be a little bit off because um, I talked that my, um, my monitor is a very old monitor that I'm using for my desktop, and it doesn't have, uh, doesn't have widescreen, and so I have to actually play it in, like, a windowed mode instead of, like, full screen. So um, the video quality might be a little bit off, um, and the sound, I haven't set up everything that I had before, so yeah, the sound might be just a little bit different, um, but I think it's I think it's fine, and I think we're going to be uh, good with it. I'm going to be tweaking stuff here and then uh, on other videos as well, I'm trying to get it perfect, so if you, if you notice anything that sounds weird or anything, it'll hopefully be fixed by next episode. So, let's get into things. So... I talked about the new computer, and you'll see some new stuff down there. We'll get to that in a second. Those uh, green green wool, the, the blue wool, uh, that whole track right there. Um, we'll get to those in a second. I want to talk about those. But first, I wanted to say that um, in the process of installing this new computer, I backed up, I tried to back up all my save files for Minecraft, and um, this one in particular, all the other ones were fine, but this one got backed up to a... Uh, a version that was before the last video so I had to go actually go and watch uh, my last video and um, I had to do everything that I did in that video over again and make sure it looked not the exact it doesn't look the exact same because some of the things had changed to make them better but um, like this part right here looks the exact same as it did in the last video I'm pretty sure I might have like a delay that's a little bit longer on one of these but I think it's about the same, but like everything down here I changed. So um, we're going to be talking about those updates. And I also, we're going to be updating this cannon today. So with all that said, let's go check down and see what all I did. So first you'll notice some things in my inventory. I got a bow, I got a redstone torch, and I got sandstone. Those are going to be used to uh, test out the various things down there. But first we're going to test out the cannon because I did some stuff to the TNT cannon that I want to show you guys. So first... I'm going to put that up there. I'm not going to turn it on yet, but I want to go down here and look at it. You'll see it has a, has coal right here on the sides. It has redstone lanterns and a redstone torch. And I just originally had it all like black, but it didn't look as good with the uh, color scheme of this robot. It didn't look that good. So I just did the inside black to make it look like it's kind of like charred from all the fire and stuff that it's shooting out, the TNT. And then... um. It's got this torch in it, which is kind of like a uh, kind of like a lighter, I think. And then these will light up as the thing goes around and around and around in a circle. <clears throat> and also, there is a couple other things that that will do that you'll see in a second. Oh, and also, while I'm up here, I figured out that in the latest uh, versions, this no longer works. You get stuck in there. It no longer works, so it kind of sucks. So we're going to have to redo that somehow and have it maybe just teleport you up. But I was kind of disappointed in that. So that's pretty sad. But here we go. The cannon's going. And look at that. Fire particles. I think this makes it look cooler like it's like it's actually doing something. As you can see, the, uh, the TNT gets summoned right about here. So none of this stuff inside affects it. I could have them summoned like right, right here. But that's little too close for comfort I think so they they summon like right outside of the thing you can actually see them summoning around in a circle but I think that fire makes it look cool and I did not need to mean to take that out oops yeah, you can see that I added some more um, some more command blocks particle smoke and there's the fire particles so every like every like iteration every time it goes around in a circle it'll shoot out smoke once you'll see it and then there and then there, and then there, and then there. There we go. And then the fire is uh, summoned uh, by the... There's uh, command blocks, and I think these corners right here. This one, this one, that one, and that one. Let me check. 
yeah, flame particles, and so that does it all the time. And since that it's getting summoned like once, each one of these gets um, gets uh, set off like maybe 20, 25 milliseconds after the one before it or something like that, then this is constantly kept here. So it never goes away until you turn it off and then it just disappears once it's done. So we'll just turn it off. There we go. And there. Now it's back to normal. So I think that makes it look cool. We might do something like that with the um, Resident 1 or we might mess with armor stands and get get something something crazy but uh, I think that looks pretty cool I still want to edit it out a little bit and make it a lot cooler and I'm actually gonna edit the um, the robot suit off camera you can see I'm trying to sculpt the legs a little bit because uh, I don't like how blocky he is so we're gonna be editing that but I'm gonna do most of that off camera probably I just want to do most of the redstone stuff on camera so I can show you guys uh, how to do it if you want to like make one of these uh, yourself like one of these TNT cannons or just or the whole thing if you want to make the whole thing so talked about that let's go down here these um, these green wool are uh, new concepts that I want to show you guys I just mapped them out so that way I know which ones are new and then the blue one over there is the same as the old one but I got it next to a new version just to see uh, just to show you guys the difference and we'll talk about that in a second so first I wanted to talk about this you remember this? This was the automatic, uh, like machine gun, yeah, the compact uh, Gatling gun. It's got uh, it shoots arrows really, really, really rapidly. The other one was pretty rapid, but this one is like five times as fast, and it uses. I think the other one had five, no, it had s seven rows of command blocks, and this one has ten, I think. Let's see, three, six. It has nine plus these two right here. Well, three. Yeah, there's a third one right there. And I made it more compact because the other one had line going right here with redstone. And I I figured out that you can just do it in just this little tiny space. This three by, what is that, five? One, let's see, one, two, three, four, and then the bottom one, five. So yeah, three by five area and, uh, well, three by three by five area. You can do all that and set it all up. So we just flip it on and look at that. Look how fast those shoot out. They're actually getting summoned right in front of this yellow block, but because it's shooting so fast, it shows them summoning right here. But look how fast it's going. It's actually lagging my brand new computer because it's going so fast. But yeah, you can see it. They're coming really, really, really rapidly, and you can add more and more, uh, more and more rows to this. I'll just show you a couple of the commands. They're all pretty much the same. This one just summons at four blocks behind. This one summons at five, six, and so on, all the way to ten. Then you just keep adding rows and rows to shoot out more and more, but it it starts to lag really bad. Like close to this, yeah, it's lagging. But that is um, really cool, and it's just I made it so it's just a switch. You flip on and off, and it just keep rapidly going and going. And then this button just deletes all the arrows, and you see that frame jump. All of a sudden, we're back to normal frames really, really quickly there because all the entities have been removed. So that's just kind of a cool way to do that. Just kills the arrows. This one just sets a block to redstone right here. Starts this up. That piston goes down. And it keeps continuing the circuit. Because right after that redstone gets set, this one deletes it. And it just keeps going until you lift that piston up. And then it can't complete the circuit anymore. And it shuts itself off. So that's pretty dang cool. I like that. Okay, let's go to... First of all, I want to go up to this wall. And I want to rebuild it. I also built the wall a little bit bigger. The wall that we shoot stuff at, it's 64 by 64 I think. Or let's see, 303 blocks filled, 298 blocks filled. I don't know how much that is. I think it's 64 by 64, like some variation, maybe like 63 by 63 or something like that. But it's a lot bigger and it's uh, it's um, more uh, more even. It's more like in the middle. Like if you can see, it's kind of centered a little bit better. Because the other one was a little bit off to the side a little bit. Okay. So, let's talk about some particle effects. Because we did the particle effects up there. And I was messing with particle effects because I remember we wanted to do them back here on this. 
on the, like the jetpack thing have particle effects coming down the bottom but I don't know if we're ever going to do that because that, that you don't see that if you're in the suit you wouldn't see that but we might but here is a way to do it so all this space does is I know can, you can make this a lot more compact than this this is just to show the concepts it just uh, jetpack exhaust these are the jetpacks it'll summon the uh, particles right here right inside that block so we just turn it on and you see the particles just keep going and going and going we can make them smoke particles make them any particles we want but I think those ones look the best but you see some of the particles get stuck inside the uh, block but can't really do anything about that but yeah so that is something we could do and how that just works is it's just summoning cloud particles and I set this up to just keep going and going and going much similar to the uh, the circuit over there it just um, summons redstone deletes redstone and then this is in there to complete the circuit and then it keeps going until that is pulled away so that's something we could do I don't know if we're gonna do it but um, we could do that and because we got a lot of room in, in the suit for redstone we could just put it all on that leg if we want to that other leg so that is something we could do kind of cool or we could put it in the space between the elevators because we got the one elevator that's like right here and one up there so we just put it in the space between it so that could be pretty cool now comes the cool stuff the stuff that is amazing you guys are gonna love this you guys are gonna love that but this um, I wanted to make a way where if we shot an arrow we could have a particle effect applied to it because I was trying to figure out ways to make a better a better lightning cannon because that one's kinda dorky I think so here's one of the ways that we could do it it's a particle arrow these just make an arrow and they keep summoning particles wherever you shoot the arrow they don't make an arrow you that's what the bows for but we just turn it on and we use a torch to set it up and there we go and now oh we're on that glitch sometimes you get that glitch in 1.8.4 uh, for some reason when you shoot an arrow it acts like it hits something in front of you usually just switching worlds fix that but I'll just go with it but you'll see the actual arrow gets hit over there because you can see the particle effects but for some reason the uh, the graphics is showing the arrow hitting something but yeah you can see it is getting shot off it's pretty cool that's pretty cool that's something we could do we could do to make it a little bit cooler and then we could make it when it when it hits something then it summons lightning so you'll see the like the bolt go so that could be something we could do and let's shut that off and just to show you what that does and we'll make sure that just that just kills arrows so I make sure that there's always no arrows in the ground anywhere so what this just does is it sets a redstone block to right here and where is it this one no this one this one deletes the redstone block and then immediately after it sets it and it just keeps going going and going until you turn it off with this switch and then while that's doing that this at wherever the arrow is it summons it this is this does an execute command that summons a particle a smoke particle wherever the arrow is at that time and since it's going really really rapidly really really rapidly um, that it summons it like every single tick so it's really 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 fast and it, you get that good uh, good like smoke particle that nice smooth smoke particle that's going straight down there so that is a really cool way to do that and you could even like maybe make a texture pack where the arrows are invisible so you just see the smoke particle that would be pretty cool turn that off and then this one just tests if the arrow is in the ground and if it is in the ground then it kills the arrow so whenever an arrow lands then like whenever an arrow lands you see you see I'm not lying it, it acts like it's hitting something but you saw the arrow land over there but whenever an arrow lands it just shuts it off and now I could take this away and show you why that's needed so we just do that now you guys kinda see why it's needed there is uh, it'll just keep doing that particle over and over and over again so you need to put that there 
so that way it'll delete any arrows see it deleted them all so that is actually very important or if you hit like a if you hit like a mob or something I think it won't do particles cuz it it's uh, not like an entity anymore so I don't think it'll do particles but if it hits the ground it'll just keep going and going and going until you turn this off so you want to put that in okay now the coolest part the part you guys have probably been waiting for the lightning cannon you thought that other lightning cannon was boring this is the basic boring lightning cannon well you're right wow exciting oh my gosh that is amazing isn't that so amazing yeah that's just the basic one and then you got the two versions over here the lightning carrier arrow that's in the ground and the one that we had where it just shoots wherever so it goes like that and then this one that does basically the same thing but it shoots it while it's in the air and then this is here just to see how far the arrows would travel they travel about 50 blocks this blue one is 50 blocks away from the summoning areas but yeah those are pretty boring so I made this one which requires a little bit more work because this one is one two three four five six six command blocks this one is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten wait one two three four seven yes ten ten command blocks and uh, one comparator where this one needs a comparator and a repeater this one d requires no repeaters at all but it does require um, two torches and a button so this one actually requires almost the same amount of redstone as this one actually it requires less because this one has two pieces of redstone and this one has none there's no pieces of redstone anywhere in here so this one requires a little bit less redstone but way more commands and what it does is I'm going to show you and then I'm going to explain it because I think that's the best way to do it because if I explain it and then show you it might not be as cool so let's do the real epic lightning cannon now that's a lightning cannon. That is a lightning cannon. See, th all this does is, I didn't mean to put it there, it summons an arrow. It's the same one, same command that's over here. It just summons an arrow and shoots it. But, while it does that, it sets a block right here to air, and then it does a set block right here to a torch. So it deletes it. If it's running, it deletes that block right there and then it sets that to a torch or no it deletes this block which shuts it off and it sets this one to a torch which then sets this below it to a redstone block which then it sets to air and it does that circuit that you've seen over there keeps doing that circuit and while it's doing that it executes summon lightning bolt wherever the arrow is so it takes the same concept from the uh, the particle one over here the particle arrows and it does the same concept over here and it's really like really cool like amazingly cool so then it does that and then what this does is it tests for an arrow in the ground so it's very very similar to that one just adds a few more steps does a comparator then it sets this block to stone which shuts this off kills the arrow and then then uh, since that's on that would be off so this will get reset to a redstone torch right here which then shuts all this off so you can do it again so let's let's watch it again yeah you can see the arrow go you can see the lightning now i wish there was a way to make the lightning just not go straight out of the sky because it looks really weird if it could just summon it like right there like a little lightning ball or something but i don't really think there's a way to do that but i think this is really cool that's way cooler than that lightning cannon. And let me see if, what if, hmm, let's see, if I do this, and will it work with the ones I shoot? Yes, it will. Uh-oh, 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 holy crap, this is creepy. Um, wow, lag, okay, that's just, um, there we go. Okay, yeah, it doesn't really work. It works for a bit until it hits the ground, and then it's gone. So maybe, hmm, hmm. 
If we set this to like kill the arrow on the ground, we set that to do that, maybe then it'll, we can just continuously shoot them, but that'll keep that running and that's kind of a little bit laggy. So we want to just take these concepts and we want to implement them into that lightning cannon and see how it works. So let's go do that. That's what we're going to mostly do. So I'm going to do that really quick, just put that over there. I went through all the commands, so I don't want to bore you guys with me just putting it over there. But I'm going to put it over there and be right back and show you the finished product. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. And, oh, I forgot to grab a redstone torch. Give me a second. Okay, back. And I redid the thing a little bit. I changed a couple things because uh, we don't have enough room for all that. So I had to do it a different way. But here is the setup we got. It's about the same exact setup as you had over there, except for this uh, part in the back. It's a little bit different because I had to compact it a little bit, and I also changed the um, arrow. The arrow gets summoned. It was summoning right in this block, and so I couldn't figure out why the lightning was only summoning right here and it wouldn't keep going. It was summoning the arrow like inside like this block, and then it just shot straight down into that block. But I think we got it set up how we want it. Might change it a little bit here and there, um, but it's really, really cool. So let's let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so come up here, hit that, and then, boom! Look at that. That is way, way cooler than I ever thought. Yeah, that's a that's a true lightning cannon right there. That is a true lightning cannon. That is so cool. It looks it looks cooler than it did over there. It looks cooler because it comes right out of the thing. Oh yeah, but the arrow is actually going pretty far, I think. Unless it's hitting, is it hitting? It killed the arrow, so I think it might be hitting this block. It might be hitting that block, or it might be hitting below the block. But you can only see the lightning up to a certain amount away, even though we're on like 16 render distance, or we might be on like 20 render distance. But you can only see the lightning effect so far away, which kind of sucks. There's no way to change that, but it is extremely cool. Yeah, extremely cool. Well, guys, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please leave a like. Maybe we'll be figuring out how to fix this next time. Because I'd really like to see this work. Because it doesn't. It just doesn't. Dang it. Well, guys, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Remember that uh, update video, I'm going to be putting the link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. I talked about some stuff um, that's going to be going on in the channel, some new series and stuff. So, guys, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Let's just set it off. Right Look at that. Look at that. See ya.